Hello everyone and welcome to round 7 of the 2019 campaign. We've had 6 races so far, all of them have been won by a Mercedes driver. However, last time out, the Mercedes 1-2 was broken, Sebastian Vettel finishing 2nd, and Ferrari having should have great pace here this weekend, and Mercedes with a new engine, it's all just a bit of a prediction game for the Canadian Grand Prix. We move away from Monte Carlo, across the pond to North America for round seven, the Canadian Grand Prix at Montreal at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. The seventh stop on our calendar, Mercedes have dominated the six races so far, four for Hamilton and two for Bottas. Two weeks time and we are at the French Grand Prix at Le Castellet and it's Austria, halfway the season at the British Grand Prix, Germany, Hungary, the summer break, followed by then we go to Belgium, Italy, the flyaways, Singapore, Russia, Japan, then the Americas, Mexico, USA and Brazil. And wrapping up the season on December the 1st in Abu Dhabi for what hopefully will be a duel in the desert. In the Drivers' Championship, Lewis Hamilton leads the way, 137 points. 17 points back is Valtteri Bottas. With a second place in Monaco, Sebastian Vettel now moves up to third ahead of Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc fifth with a massive points gap to Pierre Gasly. Seventh for Sainz, and then if you look further down the order, no points for Russell or Kibitza. Mercedes lead the Constructors' Championship from Scuderia Ferrari by well over 100 points. Victory in all six races, it's going Mercedes' way. Rocket Williams Racing still with no points on the board. The battle for 6, 7, 8 and 9 is strong. And welcome to the Thursday preview then ahead of the weekend. And we have an interesting weekend ahead. Not only have Mercedes got a new power engine, Ferrari as well are still with the power engine. They use at the Spanish Grand Prix. So it's on two events compared to Mercedes having a fresh one. And it must go down as the most successful engine in F1 history, winning six Grand Prix in a row. Absolutely fantastic. But uh, Mercedes have been in an astonishing form this season, winning all six races so far. And they have a new Phase 2 power unit in this weekend as well. Uh, Sebastian Vettel, triumphant last year at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. But uh, this had previously been Mercedes' top dog at the circuit. More specifically, Lewis Hamilton is the most successful win rate here. He's won six times around the streets, uh, on the city streets really, of, of uh, Montreal. Because a bit like Monaco and Albert Park, this is a permanent circuit around a street circuit as well it's the roads around the casino as we're on a man-made man -made island back in the 60s ready for the 1976 uh, olympic Games. so it is the Ile notre dame and it is a man-made island we're racing on uh Sebastian Vettel said this is a power circuit so the engine upgrade that mercedes has uh for, for that's like the ferrari have, have come at a perfect time uh it rewards Engine grunt and top speed this circuit uh, at, at uh, Montreal. So the Mercedes should have a higher top speed with their new engines, but two aces for the Ferrari is all very strong. Red Bull, this seems to be a circuit where they could have some pace with their Honda engine. Remember 2014, the underdog story? They won here as well, so watch out for that. But Friday practice, notably the second session, will give us the first real indication of how much uh, top speed and a step forward the Mercedes have got compared to the two Ferraris and the two Red Bulls as well. But uh, home race for Lance Stroll and the Racing Point team, the first home race for the new Canadian team, the second home race for Lance Stroll, of course, last year he was, uh, well, out at the first two corners. A crash with Brendan Hartley put him out of his home Grand Prix, he's hoping to do better here. Then again, the only Canadian to win this race and have a good record here is Gilles Villeneuve. Jacques, of course, crashed into all in 96. 99 and of course in 2006 as well so he's not had a great record here uh, any Canadians but uh, plenty of the unknowns coming into this weekend as we get the first on track action in FP1 but the more relevant will be FP2 but uh, in the press conference everyone was very much centre nobody blinked and the drivers they all looked very bored to be here as well but uh, an interesting nugget that came out was that Hamilton wants to have a say in the regulations of 2021 he wants to make it a bit harder for drivers to race at like the noise pitched in and said well it's already quite hard now but um 
Lewis voicing his views on the regulations, of course, because yesterday uh, it was announced that we get an announcement today about possible changes to the 2021 schedule of the running order. And that schedule is that now everything that happens on the Thursday will be scrapped. Friday morning will be the driver's press conference, all the media duties and the cars being scrutinised. Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock will be free practice 1, then around 5 o'clock free practice 2. Saturday will remain the same as will Sunday. But just that little tweak could push something into more of a problem because if you crash the car in FP1, will you be ready by FP2? And of course FP1 will become the more relevant session than FP2. So it's all a bit of an up down situation but uh, it's looking good now let's take a look around this circuit Gio Vilna. they've got a new pit complex but we haven't got that but uh, there's only one car and one team we could pick to be this weekend and that's the racing point as they're our home team so let's take a look at the circuit Gio Vilna on lap attack with the racing point car <coughs> So let's take a look then around the circuit, Gilles Villeneuve. It's tight, twisty, but very, very fast. Hard on the brakes, get a good exit out of turn 13, 14, up against the champion's wall. Keep the car almost dead centre, just allowed to drift slightly. Now, focus down, fourth gear into turn number one. Tight on the outside line, down to second gear for turn two. Let the car build up acceleration uphill towards turns number four and five. Hard on the brakes down, fifth gear, Ride the curve, acceleration, again, the car drift towards the wall. There's six, heavy on the brakes, down to third gear. Ride that curve as much as possible, get a good exit out of seven. Rise up, DRS open now, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear. You'll be in eighth gear as you hit the brakes hard, down to fourth gear, into nine and 10. Ride the curve, don't hit the wall of the exit. Pull up now towards the hairpin. Hold in seventh gear, because by the time you hit the braking zone, you pull down to second gear. Get the car tight in on exit. Now, you are riding all the way down the back straight, which used to be the old start finish straight in the 80s before they moved it. Open up DRS detection, open now up DRS, open to eighth gear, and just floor it down. Drop down, fourth gear, four gears, ride the curves, get close to the champion's wall, keep the car pinned to the right, I should cross the line for the fastest time. It's a fast circuit, just a few chicanes, but it's a great, great challenge for the drivers. <coughs> Loads to look forward to this weekend as well, and you can watch it all on Sky Sports F1 with highlights on Channel 4 and, of course, the BBC Sport website for all radio commentary. And we'll be back tomorrow at the very much later time of 11.30 for the practice review due to the late times and nature of the actual sessions as well so we'll be back at 11.30 on YouTube premiering then on Saturday we'll be back at the very much later time for at 8 o'clock so completely after qualifying for the Saturday practice review with delayed coverage and because our internet is going off so we won't have anything to upload but we'll be back Sunday live at 4 o'clock here on YouTube as well but uh, Megan rejoins us this weekend she'll be in the Sunday preview as well and she's also commentating tomorrow but uh, it's going to be a, a cracker this weekend I love the Canadian Grand Prix join us tomorrow for the Friday practice review bye for now